A good day to our farmers and many thanks for joining this agribusiness talk program where we discuss farm business issues to help in the migration from subsistence to commercial farming. It is a fact that you farmers have always had to make decisions about what to plant, when to plant, and where to sell. In the past, however, such decisions were often not very complicated. They often planted the crops that their neighbors planted at the same time as their neighbors planted and sold to the buyer or buyers that their neighbors sold to. The situation has changed. I'm sure you've seen the recent flooding of onions in the market. Many farmers today find themselves having to be market oriented and having to make individual decisions about what, when, and how to market. To help you understand more on market-driven production, today we are joined by Sydney. He is the business development officer with Musika Zimbabwe. Sydney, welcome to the program and please take over. I'll dive right in. Um, I'm Sydney. Um, Sydney Flangabeza. So I'm the business development officer for Musika Zimbabwe as, as the entire organization. So basically, Music Analytics is a, is a platform that allows farmers to make intelligent market decisions. We have noticed that farmers um, actually go into production without adequate information as to the outlook of the market. So we are trying to build a platform that actually helps farmers to make informed decision when it comes to, to their production, coming from the market side, then to production and not vice versa. So today we're going to do a brief um, explanation or a brief outline of the importance of market price trends in data and agriculture. From there, we are also going to do a demonstration on the onion price trends to give farmers a feel of um, how it looks like if they use data versus how it should, uh, how it looks like if they go into production without information. So basically, that's what we're going to discuss on today. Maybe later on, we can also discuss on uh, time permitting. We can discuss on the shortfalls that, are, uh, that can be found in the data that's available at the moment. So basically, that's what we can discuss about today uh, in a short space of time. Let me touch a bit on the importance of market trends in agriculture. Oftentimes, we've received this question from farmers. They say, seed, which crop can I grow that will be in high demand in the next few months? Or which crop will pay me higher than any other crops in the next three months. Part of the reason why farmers ask this question is because we've had quite a number of new farmers joining agriculture recently, and they don't have the information. And part of the reason also why we have this kind of question is because the Zimbabwean person or the Zimbabwean farmer has what you term the Zimbabwean Zouta syndrome, where farmers want to write on any product that's selling at the moment and not actually best their decisions on data. So this is kind of what you can term speculative farming, which is not very different from gambling. It's almost the same as sports baiting. Speculative farming is, is the same as gambling in itself. So we are trying to actually help farmers move from speculative farming, move from the Zimbabwe syndrome to something that can be actually data-driven, so that farmers can make data-driven decisions, can use data to actually determine what they produce and how they produce. So if you look at um, data of agriculture market price trends, they can actually help you to determine the planting times, the exact planting dates for a certain crop. When you have the exact planting times or planting dates for a crop, that will actually give you a higher return when you get to the market. You can then determine the best variety that suits that specific time. You see when uh, we get to demonstrate the price trends of onions. If you're to plant your onions in June or July, there's a certain variety that you need to grow that should allow you to be able to preserve it your onions to the point when you get to the market, when they can actually sell at a higher price. The third thing that you get from using uh, data or agricultural market price trends is you'll be able to have a correct return on investment uh, calculation and expected return on investment calculation. 
because you know the expected price for a certain period, say you want your earnings to be ready for market in January, you know the exact price that you'll be able to sell. Not exact price per se, but a price range that you can expect, the minimum and the maximum price that you can expect using previous data or data from previous years. That's, this information can actually help you calculate profitability and your expected return on investment, which will actually help a farmer minimize the losses. We wouldn't want a situation whereby a farmer can go to into production, have their produce ready, go into a market, then boom, the market is flooded and they receive very, very minimum revenues from their, uh, from their produce. In any business, you wouldn't want that. In agriculture being a business, you definitely want to maximize your profits. So agriculture market trends or agriculture market data can actually sort of like bulletproof you from all these things that can um, affect your bottom line as a farmer. So we want farmers to move from production to market um, way to market to production, which is the ideal way, the ideal way of actually doing your farming business. You don't grow your tomatoes today, then hoping that when you harvest them in the next three months, there'll be a market for that. You have to know what the market will be like in three months, then you grow your tomatoes and not vice versa. So we usually advise farmers to do their analysis every planting cycle and grow their analysis always. There are no two ways about it. You don't use experience when it comes to farming and farming markets, agriculture markets. You have to do your analysis every planting cycle. When you want to grow your tomatoes in December, you have to look at the market. What's the market saying? The prices should be like. What's the market? What's the data saying? The market landscape will be in the next three to four months when you actually harvest your your tomatoes. Because if you don't do that, you are definitely going to fail when it comes to the market. And the market is very unforgiving. You go into production because you know that cabbages are paying high, or you go into production because someone was saying, I had a kill with tomatoes last season, then you go into production using that kind of information, the Zuhuta syndrome. Then when you grow the tomatoes, everyone is growing them. And you go, when you go to the market, you're actually flooding your own market. When you go to the market, the crops are supplied, prices are falling, then your profits are also falling. We don't want that for farmers. So we want farmers to consult their data every planting cycle before they go into production so that they can actually maximize their profits. So I want us to have um, a demonstration of how we can use agriculture market prices to have informed decision when it comes to, to our agribusiness. So there are a lot of information out there. We are not uh, the only supply of agriculture information. This Agriculture Market Authority, they do publish agriculture uh, prices. There are other prices in the industry. But for the sake of this um, presentation today, we are going to use the analytics website, which is Musika Analytics website. If you are following this um, discussion, you can actually go to www.musicanalytics.co.w. When you get there, you simply log in or register if you're not a member. Once you're successfully logged in, you go to the statistics tab, then commodities. From there, you can actually do your analysis. So right now, I'm, try, I'm going to try and demonstrate um, uh, the market price for onions. So here we go. This is the analytics website. All right. So this is actually the home page. These are the current prices. Um, these were published on, on the 22nd of November. They are valid until the 25th of November when we publish the next uh, publication of the price. So from here, you now get to the login. I already have an account, so I'll simply use my login uh, details to log in. Uh, this will be your dashboard. 
for you to do trend analysis, then you have to navigate to statistics, then commodities. Now, here you can actually you can actually do your trend analysis. You choose the crop. So for our discussion, we are using onions. There's a presentation. I prefer bar chart, but you can actually choose a line chart or any other type of a chart. So we use bar chart. Choose the time frame that you want to do your analysis. Uh, for the sake of this discussion, um, let's use, uh, say, from the 1st of June 2020 to the, um, to the 30th of May 2021. Okay. Then you choose the market that you want to analyze. For now, we only have data for, for buy. So, so choose buy. Okay. So this is our... Um, trend for onions from the 1st of June 2020, the price was $10, then uh, May 2021, the price is uh, $10. So basically, let's say you are in December, you want to know what's the best time to, what's the best time to actually grow your crops, um, in this case, onions. Um, the price in, in June is usually ten dollars. Um, then we have a dip in July uh, to eight dollars. Another dip in August. So you see, as we're moving from from April to to June, the price is usually ten dollars. Then the price drops a bit in July and drops again in August, then from August all the way to December, the price kind of maintain a stable, the commodities kind of maintain a stable price at $5. So I'll explain what's happening here in a moment. Then the lowest price we have um, in December and January. Then let me now explain what's actually happening here. In Zimbabwe, we can only grow onions successfully, usually in winter, because of the kind of varieties that we used to have. Right now, we have more varieties uh, that have been grown throughout the year, but uh, over the past years, we only had varieties that could do very well in, uh, in winter. So this is what, uh, what what's happened. You grow your onions in, um, in June, in July, they'll be ready for the market usually from September up to December. So this is the period when we have a lot of fresh onions on the market. That's why you see the price is at $5. So this is the highest price that will be recorded at any specific time. So those onions that are grown from May up to July, we bred for the market from August uh, up to December. That's why the price is low during that time. Then from there, because we used to have varieties that were not so good for drying, from February going forward, we will have a short supply of onions in Zimbabwe because Will the all the fresh onions will be finished by then? Then we start to have um, low supply of onions. That's when this price starts to peak uh, here in Feb, going uh, all the way through April, May, June, until they start to fall again in uh, in July. So basically, this is the the price trend that we have for onions every year. High prices starting from March to July then the price start to dip from there all the way to January the next year. So basically, if you want to grow your onions, consulting your, your, your data, it can actually tell you the best variety to grow. If you want to have your onions for drying so that you can sell them in the peak season from March to, to, to July, then this kind of information is now telling you that if you want to sell your onions at peak period, you have to have a variety that can be dried. 
then if you want to sell your onions as fresh onions, if you're growing a, a variety that cannot be dried, then this is the price that you should expect during uh, this period between August and December, maybe up to early, early January. So basically, this is the trend for, for onions. It really doesn't change year in, year out, but you've noticed that the market is setting, new, is setting in a new trend. Uh, we have seen that with tomatoes this year, even the onions and other crops. I'll explain that maybe in the next presentations that we're going to have, why the market is now setting a new trend. So this is pretty much about onion price trends and how you can actually do it on Musica Analytics. Uh, from now, let me touch a bit on the shortfalls of this information that we have of the data that is uh, currently available on the on the on the market. As you can see, this information is only about price. We are only tracking price trends, but you also have to put into consideration other factors that actually affect uh, uh, the price. Give for instance, there are unique events or there are unique um, there are unique situations that can occur that can actually distort this trend. For instance, COVID. In 2020, when we had a lockdown in Zimbabwe, our lockdown started in March 20. That was 2020. That's when we are. Um, unfortunately, the data is not shown here. Uh, we should have done that, but. The price was so high. Why? Because during this period, when we have low supply of local onions, we usually get our onions from South Africa. But then during the COVID era, South Africa was not able to bring their onions in. So we had a very, a, a very high price for onions during that period because we we're not getting supplemental onions from from South Africa. We should also consider all those. Um, unique events because when you actually consult the data um if you go to to the to, to your statistics you do a statistics june going backwards for 2020 you, you see that price was we have no cleaner supplies from south africa and if you can base your in this slide because you are ignorant of the fact that um covid which was, was not allowing other low supply periods that's that's one factor. Then the other factor that you need to consider is weather. We are not tracking that yet, but we also consider period specific. Um, we also need to consider period specific Zimbabweans consume in December. How much of onions do Zimbabweans consume in um, uh, conclusive uh, analysis? But it can give you an overview of the market. It's, it's actually better at any given time. So, pretty much, I can say that's it for today. We would like to thank Sydney for such an informative and great presentation. We do hope, farmers, you have benefited from the show. You can get in touch with Musika on 0719-454-686 or Musika on Facebook. You can also visit their website, musikaexpress.co.zw. From Agribusiness Media, my name is Rollings. Thank you for watching, farmers. Have a great day. Moving is Thank you.